All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 24. <clears throat> and in this lesson, we're going to be determining whether a whole number is a multiple of another number. Now, parents and teachers, um, what's really kind of tricky with all this vocabulary is all the vocabulary. The idea of students are having to keep in mind factors, multiples, products, prime, composite. There are all these words that, unless we're careful, are going to become meaningless to our students. So one thing I, I recommend, you know, put up a, a word wall so that students can constantly keep um, referring to it and they can see examples of what a factor versus what a multiple is. Um, constantly review as a teacher yourself. Make sure you're using proper vocabulary at all times. Uh, if you want students to know these words, you as a teacher need to use these words. Uh, these are all little pieces of advice. Plus on the next slide, I'm going to show you something a, a little bit more uh, specific. So some research shows that if you want students to learn two different things, rather than teaching them in isolation, make sure you put them side by side so students can compare and contrast the two things. So factors and multiples is a perfect opportunity for you to do so. So the idea would be is make a three column chart and here is our number, here are our factors, and here are our multiples. And you can give a number, for example, four. So what are the factors of four? That would be one, two, and four. What are the multiples of four? Well, that would be zero, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, dot, dot, dot. All right, and then let's give another example. Oh, let's say um, the multiples, uh, well, the number. Oh, let's do the number. Oops, I don't, well, we'll do that in the number. Uh, let's say uh, uh, 10. Okay, so what are the factors of 10? Well, you've got 1, 2, 5, and 10. As a reminder, they need partners, right? 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 5 is 10. And going back up here, the partner, 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 is its own partner. So we need to always have partners, don't we? And so the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. What are the multiples of 10? 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, dot, 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 all right? And so what I've heard a lot of teachers, uh, they're a little mnemonic. There are far fewer factors, and there are many more multiples. The idea is we want students to recognize that the multiples can go on forever, while the factors are always a finite number. They're always end. There's far fewer factors and many more multiples. So this is one idea for how to make these two words have a little bit of meaning. Now here it says for each of the following, time yourself for a minute, whoa, and see how many multiples you can write. Well, quite honestly, there's questionable value of doing homework in the first place, let alone focus for one whole minute on any given problem. So parents and teachers, take that time with a big old huge grain of salt, but the idea would be start with 75, and let's do the multiples of seventy uh, multiples of five. So that'd be seventy five, eighty, eighty five, ninety, ninety five, a hundred, a hundred five, etc. All right, and that's the idea. We don't. I don't think we need to belabor it for a whole minute. Here it says list all the numbers that have thirty as a multiple. So remember, thirty needs to be in that big long list that lasts for, that goes on forever. So examples of this would be 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, dot, dot, dot. So that certainly works. And then, of course, if 5 works, that means 6 works, because 6 times 5 is 30. 
So that'd be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, dot, dot, dot. So that works. Can we think of, let's see, we've done 6 times 5. So that's two factors, 6 and 5. Can you think of another one? Sure, you could think of 2. So you could go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30, dot, 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 dot. So we keep going. So 2 is another one. Well, 2 times what? Because it needs a partner. Well, that would be 2 times 15. And then can we think of another two numbers that would um, have a product of 30? Because we need partners, right? Well, another one would be 1 times 30. So all six of these numbers, 1, 2, 5, 6, 15, and 30, these six numbers are the six numbers that have a 30 as a multiple. Now here, using mental math, division, or the associative property, we need to figure out. Now let's do A. Is 12 a multiple of 3? Well, one idea would be 3, 6, 9, 12. Oh, yep, 12 is indeed a multiple of 3. Another way we could think of it is, yeah, well, 3 times 4 is 12. You can multiply by 3 to get 12. Yeah. So how about, oh, let's do, um, oh, the second part would be, is 3 a factor of 12? And the answer is yes, because 3 times 4 equals 12, and these guys are factors, and this guy is the product. So these are all important vocabulary words. So we've got multiple, we've got factors, we've got product, words all over the place. And that wraps up 4th grade module 3, lesson 24, where we are learning a ton of vocabulary words like factors, multiples, primes, composites, and all that sort of stuff.